Today class, we are going to learn how to monitor our comprehension while reading certain poems. We are going to do this by using the technique of underlining poems with different colored pencils. When we understand a line completely, we do not need help to figure out what the line means. We are going to underline it in green colored pencil. Again, green colored pencil means we completely understand the line. We don't need help figuring out what it is. In yellow color pencil, we are going to underline lines that we kind of know, kind of understand, but we need just a little bit of help trying to figure them out. Again, the yellow color pencil means that we kind of understand the lines, and but we need a little help trying to figure it out. And finally, the red color pencil means we, do, we completely do not understand what the line is trying to say and we need a lot of help to try to figure it out. Again, red means we completely do not understand the, the line in the poem and we need some help trying to figure this out. Now, I am going to show you how to monitor with, using this strategy in the poem that we read earlier, Writing on the Chalkboard by Isabel Jocelyn Glasser. When I look at the first line in the poem, the chalk is moving up and down. This means that the chalk is moving up and down on the chalkboard as I write, so I completely understand this poem because I can see the chalk right moving up and down on the chalkboard when I write. So I'm going to underline this line in green color pencil because I completely understand that line. The next line in the poem, the squeak, squeak, squeak line, I also understand that because that is the noise the chalk makes as it moves up and down the chalkboard. So I am going to underline that line in green color pencil as well because I completely understand that line. When we get to the next line in the poem, the hush chalk line, I'm kind of confused on why that line's in there. So I'm going to underline that in yellow color pencil because I kind of understand why, but I'm not completely 100% sure why the line is in there. When I get to the next line, the fourth line, don't squawk. I understand why the author put the third line in there, the hush chalk, because he's trying to get the chalk to be quiet and not to squawk while it's writing up and down the chalkboard. So I am going to underline the fourth line of the poem, the don't squawk line in green, because I understand why he put that in there now and I understand why he put the hush chalk line in there. And the final line in the poem, talk softly when you speak, I really do not understand why that's in there because chalk doesn't talk. It's not alive. It's not a real object. So I'm going to underline that line in red color pencil because I do not understand why that line is in there. So that is how we monitor our comprehension in poems and I used a think aloud.